<laughs> okay, this is a, uh, a Schwinn spinner bike reclaimed from uh, some uh, probably uh, um, exercise facility um, garage sale. And uh, attached here down below is a uh, another reclaimed fitness facility uh, gadget, which is uh, a motor, a DC motor from a treadmill. And uh, it came with a big uh, belt flywheel, which is very heavy. I took that off and put a urethane wheel on there so it had good grip with the flywheel of the spinner bike. And the flywheel on the spinner bike is 42 pounds, which is important because it gives you a nice smooth motion while you're pedaling when you're when you're uh, pushing the motor um, the motor here then runs uh, <clears throat> up to a junction here where I have a, a multimeter kind of patched in there so I can monitor uh, the amps and the voltage out uh, with the current battery pack it's not as important as a different battery pack which doesn't have its own um, uh, voltage regulator installed but this one seems to have so this one has like surge forget protection against any um, higher voltage however this other one here doesn't and so it's nice to have a multimeter because when you start to pedal faster you're pushing upwards of uh, 20 30 volts actually at a decent cadence on this this uh, uh, motor I believe I don't remember the specs exactly but is um, a pretty high voltage motor. I think it's actually 120 voltage, but that does, I'm just maybe thinking that because that's the, the normal voltage. Um, now, uh, this spinner bike is basically set up exactly the same as any spinner bike. There's no modifications to how it works at all. I have a watch here just to kind of time myself. And, um, and then here's the multimeter that I can monitor while I'm riding. If I turn this to a voltage setting, once I get going, which is probably not working because it's not, I don't know if it's grabbing or not. Oh, actually, it's set up differently. There you go, there's the correct setting. As you can see here, just at an easy cadence, it's pushing high, high 12 voltage. And if I go faster with this current charge system, it doesn't seem to change. Now, if I was to pedal faster like I am right now, the voltage reading here would really go up on the other battery pack. Gotcha. And if we change this to amps, this also would go up as well. It's only reading about one amp. So one amp and still about 12 volts. So this is yeah. this is like 15, 12, 15 watts, something like that. Right. And I think that just has to do with the fact that this uh, the this regulator on that battery pack. regulates it. Let's gotcha. look up the other one. We'll see what we can do. I don't probably fry the circuit. There are 12 volt motors. However, there wasn't a good deal on them at the time I bought it. <laughs> so I got this motor that kicks out a little bit more, more juice. Well, this one's only doing one amp too. But it might be doing it at a much higher voltage. Yeah, it probably is. Oops. So there's 15. So I'm over 20 now. So 24, 25. So this one has no regulator. And you could easily be going faster or gearing that differently by changing the size of that. Oh, oh that wheel exactly. If you the initial wheel I had on was actually much smaller than that, so I got a ton more RPMs out of it. It was about half the size. Now I took that one off and put this one on because it had a little bit better grip. Uh, but now I can't actually change this one because it's stuck on there. So I would one thing I would say is that most motors are optimized for you know higher speed yeah uh, they're more efficient at higher speeds so if you if you I've seen those graphs yeah yeah um, 
All right. Thank you for the little tour. <laughs> yeah, sure.